Well, in the clarification of area as vector or scalar, let us pick a case of uh, a cross product having A and B as two vectors whose magnitude equals to the third vector. That third vector being formed out of the parallelogram, formed with the sides of the parallelogram as the two vectors we have taken and the direction of such a vector equal to perpendicular to the plane carrying these two vectors. Now surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square which is obviously scalar quantity but each point on the surface of the sphere is uniquely defined that I mean to say the radius vector of each point is unique and these points on the surface of the sphere is termed as elementary area whose magnitude is vanishingly small and the direction being normal at the point concerned. Therefore, elementary area is a vector quantity but not the area. This elementary area can be as small as a point to as big as an infinite plane and only the condition are that the elementary area will have a unique normal and accordingly we use these concepts of elementary area as a vector quantity in Gaussian surface planes having Gaussian surfaces in hyperstatics to points in calculating magnetic domains. Thank you.